chasing views on LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn's made this a little bit different recently by him bringing in impressions. And impressions are obviously much higher because it's just an indicator of how many times you ended up in somebody's feed, not necessarily whether they viewed you or not. The whole of social media seems to be heading towards impressions. Spotify's been doing it. YouTube does it. Now we've got LinkedIn doing it. First up, I'm not a big fan of impressions. I think it, it falsely bloats how many times you've been seen. Because just because you've appeared in somebody's feed doesn't mean that they, they saw you. More importantly, even views are relatively subjective, right? So views are not created equally. I don't care whether Bob from down the road, who I know, who I used to work with, has viewed my post or not because he's in a totally different industry and he's, he's just a friend. He's a nice guy and he will like and comment on my post. But Bob is not my target audience. Bob is not going to pay my bills and he doesn't know anybody that's going to pay my bills. So it's not a really important view. What's important is when Jimmy views my post and Jimmy has loads of CEOs and executive coaches who are part of his immediate network and he knows loads of senior consultants who've just come out of corporate that want to influence those people. That's a really important view to me. So if you're not already doing this, here's something that, that will help you sift the wheat from the chaff, right, so to speak, is have a look at your analytics within your post. And you can break it down to demographics. If you break it down to the demographics, it should broadly reflect the sort of people that you want to be reaching. If it's not, your audience, your network might be slightly out and it would take a while for that to catch up. That's okay. But it might also be that your post didn't appeal to that right audience. Maybe it's appealing to the wrong audience. It's a very easy trap to get into. So worry more about building relationships with the right people on LinkedIn than chasing views and view numbers. But if you are going to look at views, make sure you're looking at the right information. It's not the number of views. I would take 200 views on a video from the right demographics, then I would take 10,000 views from people who are irrelevant. That's the key message to take away from the day. But ultimately, those relationships are the key to you getting the right content, the right audience together, because you're going to learn what people want. You're going to be connecting to their audience and bringing their audience to you, which means your posts will get seen by the right people. And eventually you will cross pollinate audiences, meaning that you will start to attract your target audience to see your posts regularly. That's the sweet spot. That's where everybody needs to get to. Hope that's useful. Give me a follow, give me a subscribe. As I keep saying, I'm not here to sell a course. I'm not here to um, sell you my services for LinkedIn training. I am not a LinkedIn trainer or coach. I am here to help you convert your audience into paying customers with LinkedIn. See you next week.